it may be true that um, that early 80s Detroit scene will not be one that's like going to be mentioned all the time. On the other hand, you're fucking doing a documentary about it. So what's up with that? I just wanted to say something. Kids wanted some excitement, especially in Detroit, man. You're bored. When you were white and you grew up in the suburbs, whether you were on the east side or whether you were on the west side, Detroit was just, you just didn't go there. The kids came out of, you know, from the suburbs and they'd come down to like the worst ghetto. But Detroit was just hard, man. It just seemed like a much rougher place. I mean, there was nothing down there but like dope hookers and pavement. It sort of started off with these, these one-offs and these gay clubs, but then it all came together in the freezer. It was created by a bunch of kids in a ratty part of town, and it was all word of mouth. The freezer was like this incubator without limitation. You weren't cool if you didn't know about the freezer. You weren't going there to get laid. Yeah, You weren't going there to get drunk. You were going there to see the bands. <laughs> It was the country club for a bunch of fucking misfit punk rock motherfuckers. That's fucking history. I, we made history. I, we made we're, we're part. history. <laughs> We're part of history. I, Damn I right. believe that. I believe that. Thank you, Jesus. And Lemmy. And Lemmy. <laughs>